All right, I'm mounting the new Apexia memory. It's a, I think at least it's a pretty unknown brand. Uh, I just spotted them on Case King and thought they looked cool. They have a uh, blue LED strip up here. I don't know how many LEDs are in there, but I suppose you could almost tell. Uh, they're not that much higher than the Corsairs, and I was able to fit the uh, innermost ones uh, without removing the cooler, so yay. Not much difference, a couple of millimeters. Let's, let's try and measure it up. Um, let's just, you can see one of the modules, they come with this plastic wrapping and protective bits. And uh, I like this. The uh, sticker is on what will be the rear side, so you won't be able to tell. That's actually the main reason I bought this, because the Corsairs don't look all that nice in this case. Um, yeah, let's try and do a quick measurement. You can't see shit here. Sorry about this. I'll just have to do it and give the numbers to you. It's uh, Let's see. In total, it would be 36, 6, 37 millimeters tall. So that's still below the 40 millimeter standard. Of at least that's what I read. It was the standard. I'm not gonna pretend I'm a wise guy on this. And the Corsairs are 31. So a difference in s is uh, about six millimeters, 37, 31 millimeters. Off of this. Very nice. I like. Here we go. Alright, just uh, hooked up the power, just uh, wanted to see how the new memory looks. I unplugged the hard drives just in case. Not bad. Bad. Yes. Yeah, I think it looks, it's gonna look cool. Like I said, this uh, Sigma Tech fan is uh, actually blue blades and white LEDs. I think it's a nice effect. I've also read some posts about the uh, positioning of the power plug on your power supply after you mount it sideways underneath the motherboard like this. And if you have a ankled connector like this, you're okay, but uh, apparently it's a big issue if you only have straight connectors like so. I'm just gonna... I, I didn't bother trying with it. Oh, yeah. That's not cool. It's definitely not ideal. It will. It's gonna put some tension on 
on the puck itself if you're going to be doing it like this. Um, not cool. So get an angled one. And uh, of course the case comes with a straight regular one like this. That's, yeah, I should have done that better. I uh, considered going for the uh, Antex skeleton mesh, the protective mesh that goes around inside the, uh, all the little holes, but uh, it's actually pretty pricey. I think it was like uh, 60 euros and it attaches to the inside so you have to, uh, like I did here, you have to take the motherboard tray out or at least all your hardware and then mount it and apparently there's not even a slot for your graphics card so there's a mesh that goes here on the on the rear and uh, then you're screwed with regard to your graphics cards so not ideal and too expensive if you ask me. Uh, noise levels uh, I had this before, well so I still have it um, Antec P193 is it? Yeah, I think so. Now this is a nice case, very <coughs> dusty, <laughs> um, very silent. I really enjoy it and I'm not gonna part with it. I'm just gonna stick it in the basement somewhere and uh, probably gonna put my stuff back in it at some point. But for now it's a skeleton. Just to show you a couple of issues with the uh, the case. Um, first of all, as you can see on the picture, and maybe no, um, the pins down here, the front panel connectors got bent when I was pulling it out just now, and that's what I want to get rid of. So I'm gonna extend the front panel cables and replace the uh, individual connectors with this. Now. This strictly isn't necessary, it's not even going to fit now because one, there's this guide on the outside and two, the end caps aren't open like they are here. So I'm going to dremel these away and same with this and it will fit nicely. Um, strictly this isn't necessary, I could just put back the uh, individual connectors, but uh, let me show you. If you wanted to install a third or just reposition your graphic card, you'd be out of luck. Because, as you can see here, it goes all the way down. I'm probably even going to have problems with my small IDC connector, IDC20. But, um, it's, I think it's going to be okay. I actually also have a retention bracket, but I'm not going to be able to fit that. Um, you will notice that this card doesn't go in, because Antec, in their wisdom, or perhaps lack of same, forgot to put two little holes down here. Shit, this is hard to catch on here. Let me just pull out this card again real quick. A second. And the other one. Now the uh, tabs here at the bottom are supposed to go into these slots down here. And as you can see, there's one missing right here. See, I've been scraping it um, before I figured out that it was actually missing. So if you want a card in the outmost slot, you're gonna have to bend these. Or if you're, well, good luck trying to make a new hole. You could snip it off or you could, I, I actually bent, bent it mine and I bent it back when I found out about the front panel connector. But I'm gonna do this uh, 
now I'm gonna bend my very expensive card. Yay! I'm gonna try and <clears throat> sure. uh, replace my uh, SATA cables and just to make things easier because they're all terminated underneath here and it's a bit of a mess I'm gonna pull out the power supply and uh, it was pretty easy getting it in but getting it out not so easy if you pull this tab you won't be able to budge it the problem is that the locking mechanism doesn't disengage so even if you stay no if you just pull this it's not going to do it you have to push this bit until it clicks and you're good to go as you can see here it's, this metal is simply too soft, so if you, there we go, this lights out. Here's the guides. So it can, as I'm, the way I figure, it can actually go in. There's two possibilities. So I would probably go for the rightmost one, but I could, I suppose, if it was a smaller power supply, get it all the way down here, which would, again, which would actually negate some of the problems with the power plug. But still, this is a big one. And you can see the very handy cabling and the back of all the drives. So the drives are partly held in place, <clears throat> dare I say it, by the cables. <laughs> Not optimal, but um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> 